Good morning children. Today we are going to start with lesson number 5. This is uh, the Flamingo lesson and this lesson is written by a famous biographer, famous writer, famous Jewish writer, Louis Fischer. So before proceeding it is uh, better that we learn something about the writer, something about Louis Fischer. So, Louis Fischer was uh, born in the, the year 1896, was a Jewish American journalist. So, he was an American and by religion he was a Jew. Among uh, his uh, works were a contribution to the ex-communist treatise, The God That Failed, 1949. Another one is Life of Mahatma Gandhi, 1982, as well as Life of Lenin, which owned the 1965 National Book Award in History and Biography. The following is an excerpt from his book, The Life of Mahatma Gandhi, Life of Mahatma Gandhi. The book has been reviewed as one of the best book ever written on Gandhi by Times Educational Supplement. So now, after learning about the writer, so it is better that we go to the objective of learning this lesson. My dear children, so when we learn this particular lesson, so we will come to know a lot of things, particularly we will know about the start of the Indian freedom struggle. So, the start of the Indian freedom struggle, we can tell in a metaphorical manner that it started in Champaran. So, have you heard of Champaran? Champaran. Champaran is in Bihar and from this particular area, the spark of the freedom, the spark of the freedom struggle in India started. So, how it all happened? We are very much curious to learn how it all happened when a particular prison came to the, the conversation and reported about the, the malpractice, reported about the corruption that was going on in, in India, in this part of India that is Bihar in Champar. So uh, here we will uh, see, we will understand about the freedom struggle. We will also learn about the kind of the leadership shown by Mahatma Gandhi, the special quality of Mahatma Gandhi, his non-violent method of fighting where nobody is harmed and setting an example for all the people of the world. We will also learn about how to solve the problem? How to solve a problem? Just from this lesson, whether it may be the social problem, it may be the economic problem, it may be the political problem too. Moreover, we will also learn the various methods of reading like scanning, skimming and intensive reading. And we will also develop our imagination. And in this uh, way, we will learn about the technique of uh, reading and particularly we will be developing the CCT in PISA which is very important that will make you a global citizen. Therefore, my dear children, so we will go in a very systematic manner so that we understand it better, we will uh, see the significance of the, the title, the importance of the, the title, we will uh, see the message that is uh, given, we will uh, see the main point, we will make the, the review of the, the main point, we will see the, the summary and finally we will see the, the MCQ of this lesson and we will try to understand the lesson in total so that 
we get full credit we get full credit in this lesson and we can write all the type of the question like very short type question long type question mcq type of question all sort of question provided we also learn the vocabulary don't without any delay let us proceed so here we proceed so my dear children so you have already come to understand that the theme is the main idea the main focus main flashlight on this lesson so here we will understand what is the main focus what is the central idea what is the pivotal idea p i v o t a l five so this a word is coming from p i v o t pivot pivot actually is in a in a wheel the particular part where where there is a lot on which the particular wheel actually moves therefore pivotal means the central or the main main therefore here we will understand what is the, the main theme so here the main theme is the leadership shown by mahatma gandhi to secure justice for the oppressed people through convincing argu argumentation and negotiation my dear children so it is a very difficult job to convince somebody c o n v i n c convince or to persuade p e r s u a d e persuade means in order to in order to make somebody agree with what you are going to tell or in order to persuade a person convince a person it is very difficult job and a leader can a person who is having the, the leadership quality can convince people it may be a single person or it may be the group too therefore mahatma gandhi shown the leadership quality in order to get the justice for the oppressed people particularly the, the peasant here the peasants and this the peasants of where the, the share croppers and he did it he did this persuasion in a very beautiful manner in a very uh, very logical and in a very very uh, uh, beautiful manner then <clears throat> that is the second uh, theme developed here so let us uh, see that the second theme that is uh, developed here so what is uh, it let us continue the chapter in the game emphasizes the fact that the effective leadership can solve any kind of problem without any harm to anybody this a chapter deals with the way mahatma gandhi solved the, the problem or the, the poor sharecroppers of champaran in a non violent way so my dear children so you will remember mahatma gandhi said the formula about the means and end so do you remember so what did the mahatma gandhi said the means or the method that you are applying in order to reach the end or reach the goal the objective is also should be noble is also should be noble in order to reach a noble end or objective the means also should be equally noble so in this uh, part also we come to understand that, that his uh, objective his end was a very noble he wanted to get the, the get the freedom he wanted to get the, the justice justice uh, for the peasants who were who were ill treated and more particularly they got injustice they, they were they were meted out injustice and what he did he used the non violent method in order to solve the problem of the sharecroppers so we'll get to know it then now is the time for justifying the title so here we go 
let us proceed so before the, the start of before the, the start of the, the synthetic cup indigo so the there was a, this share cropping system in india india was under the britishers majority of the, the people were the, the peasants and this particular land also was was under the, the britishers and in this uh, land suppose uh, this is the part of the, the land that is that is that is under the zamindar that is under the zamindar or the land owner land owner and this land will be divided okay one part of the, the land one part of the land will be solely dedicated in order to cultivate the indigo and the produce of it the produce of it will have to be surrendered to, to the british landlord so this was the, the system so after this after 1917 everything was okay after 1917 but after 1917 when germany produced the synthetic uh, synthetic indigo then the, the problem started how this problem started let us see so that the problem was that when it was the produce then the zamindars or the british landlord said that you are now relieved from the previous agreement previous agreement therefore as a compensation what you will have to give you will have to give a money as a compensation because you are free from the previous agreement what is the agreement that some part of the, the land will be solely dedicated in the cultivation of the, the indigo and the produce of the, the same will have to be surrendered to the zamindar so now you are freed from it and therefore you will have to you will have to give the compensation and many of the, the peasants agreed because most of them were illiterate they do not know what is a good and bad for them but some of the, the leaders among the, the peasants raised their voice and they knew that they come to understand that this was mahatma mahatma gandhi was there and mahatma gandhi can solve the problem because they heard about mahatma gandhi and he become victorious in south africa therefore people come to murmur about mahatma gandhi and raskumar sukla went in order to take mahatma gandhi to champaran so this is the, the start and from this start mahatma gandhi never looked back and finally he got the freedom of india starting from champaran therefore champaran episode is the milestone in the, the life of mahatma gandhi so the question will come long type of question and you will have to write this answer champaran episode is a milestone in the life of mahatma gandhi and you will have to give the, the elaborate description of how how champaran episode become the, the milestone in the political career of mahatma gandhi then uh, let us see how the, the title is justified how the, the title indigo talks about talks about the share cropping system the mal practices and finally finally how the synthetic synthetic uh, kind of indigo was uh, produced and how the, the problem pro problem persisted or continued and how it was solved by mahatma gandhi let us continue the title indigo focuses focuses on our attention on the, the issue of exploitation exploitation of indigo share croppers at the, the hands of the, the cruel british planters so here we will be talking about the british planters or the british landlords once there is the planters p l a n t e r s planters and another there is the peasants 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 or tenants peasants or p e n a n t s so this is the kind of feudal system have you heard of feudal system feudal system feudal system in this particular system who was who was the lord the landlord was the lord and the peasants were simply the tiller they simply till the land and 
and they did not have a much of the liberty. Therefore, let us continue. The British compelled them through a long term agreement to plant indigo on 15% of their land. So, as you have seen, suppose this is a part of the land and 15% of the, the same will have to be devoted or dedicated to the, the cultivation of indigo and surrender the, the entire harvest as rent. After the development of synthetic indigo by Germany, the British planters extracted money from the, the prisons as a compensation for being released from the, the 15% agreement. So now, my dear children, this is the crux of the, the matter. This is the crux of the, the matter. So here, I change the color. So here we go. After the development of the, the synthetic indigo by German, means German people, the British planter said, said that now you are free from the, the agreement, the long term agreement and therefore you will have to give the, the money as a compensation and this was the starting of the, the problem. The peasants who wanted their money back filed civil suit. Civil suits means civil cases. Means they they wanted to sue the planters or jaminders. Raskumar Sukla, so he is the hero of this particular lesson. Raskumar Sukla is the persuaded by Mahatma Gandhi to take up the case of indigo sharecropper. So indigo sharecropping exemplifies the, the injustice of the, the British and the India's submission to British authority. So let us uh, see this uh, part, indigo sharecropping system, give the example of the industry that was submitted out to the peasant by the British planters or the British landlords. The Champaran movement that that centered on indigo sharecropping led to the led to the social and cultural upliftment of the peasants. Does the title indigo is highly suggestive and appropriate? So, my dear children, you see. So, this uh, title, this uh, title indigo, is uh, not a simply literal meaning. It uh, imply it doesn't uh, simply imply that the literal meaning, it also implies the symbolical meaning. It also is a very much suggestive, suggestive that this particular problem had a far-reaching importance, far-reaching influence in the upliftment of the, the pigeons, their social, political, cultural and that actually paved the way, paved, P -A -V -E -D, paved, when I started, that actually paved the way for the freedom struggle in India. Then let us proceed. Let us go to the next part. So we will see the masses. The story Indigo highlights the unequal economic system, unequal economic system that existed during colonial British rule. It resulted in Indian prison suffering while the British planters exploited them. It also highlights the importance of Gandhi's decision to take up their case which exposed the unjust system. Therefore, we can now summarize the message the summarize the main point. So, what is the highlight of this particular lesson? It highlighted the poor or pathetic condition of the of the indigo planters, indigo sharecroppers, and and the injustice of the British planters to those poor peasants. It also highlight about Mahatma Gandhi. It also highlight about the Mahatma Gandhi's decision to take up the, the case of the, the farmers and the 
justice delivered to them then now let us see the chapter in nutshell let us continue here you go the chapter in nutshell <clears throat> so in the, the start of the, this chapter we see our hero who was uh, the, the hero here ras kumar shukla so ras kumar shukla was the, the hero ras kumar shukla this was r a j ras kumar kumar shukla s h a u k l a who was ras kumar shukla he was also one of the oppressed person he was also one of the, the oppressed person oppressed person who who oppressed he oppressed him because he was also a share proper and he along with the other share proper were oppressed by the british planters therefore the time was 1916 1916 and at that particular time what happened so there was a congress session in the national congress session in lucknow okay i n c lucknow i n c lucknow that was going on in the year 1916 and at that time when the session was going on at that time a particular person a particular person who was a very much infirm or weak he was suffering from malnutrition came forward to mahatma gandhi and he wanted to have a talk with mahatma gandhi so here you see the, the main part of the, the chapter so first we see the, the the role of raskumar shukla so he was a very much a poor he was a very emaciated person from champar he was very much emaciated suffering from malnutrition contacted gandhi in 1916 in lucknow means the session of indian national congress was going on in the year 1916 and at that time at that time raskumar shukla went to there in order to meet mahatma gandhi because uh, because uh, they come to understand that their problem can be solved by only mahatma gandhi gandhi dismissed him gandhi said that okay so on such and such, such date i am coming to the calcutta session of the indian national congress and there you will meet me so the time was given and then shukla raskumar shukla was happy and he was waiting for the, the time when when he will come to mahatma gandhi will come to champaran in bihar shukla came to, to complain about the, the injustice and the landlord system in bihar so shukla told about uh, this landlord system in bihar and the injustice that was meted out injustice that was done to the farmers or the share croppers shukla followed to gandhi to kanpur now it is kanpur it is kanpur kanpur in uttar pradesh later at calcutta means Rajkumar Shukla, what is the what is the, the quality that we can see? We can uh, see that he was he had one particular quality that tenacity. Tenacity means the firmness. Tenacity means sticking to. Okay, sticking. S T I C K I N G. Sticking. Sticking nature. So you will uh, see in uh, Lucknow he made, and after that in Kanpur. and then finally in calcutta so he was always meeting the leader meeting meeting mahatma gandhi so that so that he can solve the problem impressed by the sheer copper tenacity and and story story gandhi relented finally gandhi said okay all right as you are very much tenacious as you are very much adamant and the problem need to be addressed therefore he he got got impressed 
with the tenacity of Raskumar Shukla and he he gave the, the time that he will be going to going to going to that particular place in Champaran. So now let us continue. Let us uh, continue with the part. Now we see the, the crux of the, the problem. Arable land, arable land. Just a minute. Arable land in Champaran was divided into sta estates owned by Englishmen and worked by Indian tenants. Have you understood this part? Arable means the land that can be, can be cultivated. Suppose this is the area of the, the land. So in many of the, the part it is not cultivable. Means that cannot be cultivated. Therefore, suppose uh, this, is, this is the part where where you can cultivate means this part is called the arable arable land arable land so this arable land were divided arable land was divided into many estates so suppose that this is estate number 1 estate number 2 like that many estate it was divided into many estate and who was the owner of this estate the englishman was the owner of this state. Was the owner? The owner was the Englishman. Englishman was the owner. And who worked there? The Indian farmer or the share proper worked there. Then we will continue. We will see what is the problem for which for which Mahatma Gandhi had to go there in order to solve the problem. The chief commercial crop was indigo. Chief commercial crop, the particular crop which can be sold into the market for commercial purpose was indigo mill. Tenants to plant on 15% indigo. Suppose that this is the estate, this is the estate, and this estate is owned by the planter. Planter means the Planter means the British landlord. British landlord. And here, so this will be 50%, this will be 25%, and this part will be 15%. And this 15% is a wholly is to be devoted in the cultivation of indigo. I am writing I, indigo. And what will be the produce of it will have to be surrendered as a tax to the British planters or the British landlords to surrender entire indigo as rent. Synthetic indigo into the market came into the year 1917. 1917. Landlord forced new agreement. Landlord forced the peasant to have the new agreement. Ask for 15% compensation. Ask for Compensation. The peasant registered. Registered uh, means they, they first they refused. They refused. And because of uh, this refusal, there is a total unrest in the, the state of Bihar. And because of this unrest, Mahatma Gandhi went there as he was guided by Raskumar Sukla. And he went to there in order to solve the problem. So now, after reaching, after the arrival of Mahatma Gandhi, what was the change? How he fought with the, the governor general and the other British officials in order to deliver the, the justice to the prison letters? See. Here we continue. The role of Mahatma Gandhi in this particular case. Here we go. How Gandhi reached Champaran? The manner in which Gandhi reached Champaran. Therefore, you will remember that. So, it was the Congress session in Calcutta. There, our hero Raskumar Sukla went and 
he took a Mahatma Gandhi, took Mahatma Gandhi to Champaran. Let us see. Mahatma went to Mujafarpur with Raskumar Shukla, obtained complete information. So after the after arrival, so he got the complete information. He talked to the peasants. He talked to the talked to the lawyers or the advocates. He also talk about their cases or the law cases he also chided or scolded the lawyers for taking huge of fee or high fee discussed with kripalini kripalini the government official government government servant he also met with the lawyers Chided to them or scolded to them for taking higher fee, understood the legal angle, understood the legal problem because he was also a barrister. He was also a barrister and therefore he could understand what is the, the legal issue in it. And he also, also wanted to find out some beautiful means by which he can solve the problem. He made the peasants sense unrest. Realized a prison's fear strike, feels he should arm them with the tool of grace and fearlessness. He understood one thing. What he understood? So after visiting the prisons, after visiting the prisons and talking with the prisons for a long time, he could understand that. One problem the peasants are suffering is that they are very much afraid. Means they have a lot of fear in their mind. What is, what is the type of the fear? The fear is to fight for their right. Fear is to raise their voice against the injustice. Mahatma Gandhi said that no law case will do any justice to them. One thing that is to be done is to free the farmers from the fear. They should be freed from the fear. Once this can be done, then other things will automatically come to the come to the come to the four come to the line come to the four F O R E four means front. So that was the understanding of Mahatma Gandhi. He beautifully understood the problem and try to do, find out the solution. Let us see now what is the role of the lawyers. So let us continue. Here we proceed. The role of the lawyers. They represented the cases in court, collected fee and the fee were very high. This was the observation. This was learnt by Mahatma Gandhi when he talked to the lawyers or the advocate, when he talks to the farmer. So he could understand that the lawyers were representing the cases of the farmer in the law court, in the law court, and collected collected huge fee. Gandhi criticized them for being duping and misguiding the peasants. Mahatma Gandhi said that you should not do, if you should not cheat. You are cheating or deceiving the farmer, poor farmer who are illiterate, who are ignorant, and you are misguiding, you are misguiding the peasants, and you are not solving the problem of them. How how it is? Because they were taking the huge fee, and the problem problem was never solved. They gave legal support. They gave legal support to the peasants. However, they were non-committal if he was arrested. Mahatma Gandhi was discussing with the lawyers, and Mahatma Gandhi was telling that if I am put behind the bars, if I am arrested, then what you will do? Then uh, will you desert? Will you desert? You will uh, simply go back? 
go back to your hometown or to your home then what happened they want they wanted to tell that yes they will they are going 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 back what they will uh, do then mahatma gandhi persuaded that i am from far away place that is a gujarat ahmedabad and i come to champaran i come to matihari i come to do champaran in order to solve the problem and you are a person from this area or or from this uh, this particular state but you are telling that you simply go away how shameful it is then they could understand it that yes this a desertion this a desertion or living living away living okay will be a shameful activity a shameful activity and therefore they wanted to wanted to accompany mahatma gandhi and give him full support and in this way the situation become favorable for the peasants as well as the lawyers gandhi appeal for justice for share to appears when arrested lawyers are feel guilty of desertion lawyers are feel guilty that when uh, they will be going away so this will be a very shameful activity and therefore they feel guilty about it they have the, the remorse after desertion they supported gandhi civil disobedience so civil disobedience started in india and all the, the lawyers also supported mahatma gandhi in the civil disobedience movement they helped him file grievances against the landlord therefore what we can see that there is some changes the lawyers are now now filing the cases against the landlord about their injustice they are giving full full support to mahatma gandhi in the civil disobedience movement and in this way in this way this is the start of the fight against corruption then now what is the step that is taken by mahatma gandhi we will see now so here we go let us proceed okay mahatma gandhi approached british landlord association british landlord association bla he went to the commissioner cold shoulder he went to the commissioner he discussed about the problem when he discussed about the problem the commissioner said that you are an outsider and therefore therefore you should not interfere in the activity of the insider so that was the opinion of the commissioner but mahatma gandhi said that i am not an outsider i am very much an insider and in this way he showed his valiant nature his courage in the face of the challenge then let us see what he did proceeded to matihari got mass support from peasants continued investigation he went to the he went to matihari the capital the capital the capital of that particular subdivision then the peasants come to know the peasants come to know that a mahatma came in order to support the prison and now he is a problem with the authority that is the british authority and therefore therefore what did they do without any delay they came forward they came forward and after seeing the this masses the english people the english landlord and particularly the english officials got very much terrified or frightened sat official notice to leave champaran he was a sat the official notice to leave champaran instantly signed said with a this away to the order mahatma gandhi said that i am a law abiding person therefore he signed the paper but he said that i 
I am not going to go to the place. I am not going away from this place. I will disobey the order. I will disobey the order because what I will listen to, I will not listen to the order of the British official, but I will listen to my inner voice. And accordingly, accordingly, what I will do, I will, I will disobey this office order. Sartre Samoon, Motiari black with prisons. So when he was Samoon, S U M M S U M M O N. Samoon now means call, official call to attend the court. When he was served the Samoon to attend the court in Motiari, then without uh, his own knowledge, without anybody's knowledge, spontaneously the pigeon came out in order to, in order to support Mahatma Gandhi, who is fighting their case. Pigeons demonstrated outside the court room. All the pigeons demonstrated against the British rule outside the court room. Official powerless government buffoon. So after seeing this mass, after seeing this uh, large number of uh, people for the first time in India against the British, British rulers, the officials become very much powerless. They, give, uh, they become disappointed. They become disappointed and they wanted the, they needed the help of Mahatma Gandhi in order to control, in order to control the mass, in order to control the mass. Gandhi was encouraged by mass support. Gandhi got the moral courage from the support of the masses, from the support of the common people. Court arrest. Says obeying the voice of conscience. So he, he is telling that, okay, I do not have any problem to courting arrest, accepting arrest. He is telling that I have disobeyed the order, not because I do not have the respect for it, but because I have greater respect for the voice of conscience and according to which I disobeyed the word. Then he convinces the lawyer to join the movement. He persuaded the lawyers to join this movement, continue to collect legal evidence. The government are forced to set up the inquiry commission because of this large number of participation of the, the lawyers, the masses, the, the common people and the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. So the government was forced or compelled to give or set up an inquiry commission. The meeting started, the inquiry started, the deadlock, deadlock over compensation. So after this uh, inquiry, inquiry, some sort of resolution came. Mahatma Gandhi added to 20 percent, 25 percent. Mahatma Gandhi said that Mahatma Gandhi actually demanded 50 percent come, 50 percent refund. Means so whatever amount was given, whatever amount was given, the 50 percent was asked to be refunded by Mahatma Gandhi. But after seeing that the situation, after studying the situation, the practical problem, so he agreed. He agreed. To the 25 percent compensation, 25 percent of refund. Because why he did it? Do you know? He did it uh, because for the first time, the British officials were British officials become low in front of the, the peasants. For the first time, the peasants could uh, raise their voice, raise their voice against the unchallenging authority of the British rule. Landlords learned they were not above the law, peasant got credit. So after this, we could notice that the peasants, the peasants were very powerful, the peasants were empowered with grace and for the first time they could understand that nobody is beyond the law and the Britishers also can be challenged in the court of law. 
and in this way due to the support of the, the lawyer the advocate the distinguished people the teacher and the officials some of the, the english officials too the episode or the battle of champaran was won the battle of champaran was won then uh, let us proceed my dear children i suppose uh, you understood uh, it so i'll be telling you the, the short summary short summary of the, the lesson so here you see the, the short summary short summary of the, the lesson you can uh, see the image of our father of the nation mahatma gandhi and we are very much also grateful we are also we feel very much obliged that we can learn about mahatma gandhi in this chapter so here we start let us continue the lesson indigo is written by louis fisher who narrates a gandhi struggle at champaran for the poor people the peasants and champaran were share croppers with the british planters the peasants produced indigo on 15% of the land area and according to an old agreement they had to give or surrender it as rent to the, the landlord it was around 1917 the german started developing synthetic indigo and this mitigated the requirement of the indigo for the british planters in order to release the, the peasants from the 15% old agreement the british landlord demanded compensation from them most of the illiterate peasants agreed to it except a few majority of the people who were very illiterate they did not understand what is right and wrong so because of the fear inside their mind they agreed to the compensation given to the british landlord during that period mahatma gandhi appeared in champaran in the scene let us continue now he looked into the matter stood by the side of the, the poor peasants and fought a long battle of one year managing to get justice for them as you have seen so the battle was a very long battle and cooperation of the, the masses all the, the sanction of the, the people starting from the, the lawyer the government officials and the, the poor peasants all class of people joined there and therefore therefore this battle was a successful one and the leadership was the leadership of mahatma gandhi this made the peasants courageous this is a beautiful quality quality the dormant quality dormant quality of the peasants were now now brought to the fore brought to the brought to the surface by mahatma gandhi and made them aware of their fundamental rights so this for the first time they could understand the peasants could understand that this is their fundamental right to fight for the injustice and get justice get the justice that is due to them gandhi's work at champaran world wasn't just continued to do political or economic struggle he also worked on social issues like arrangement for education health and hygiene for the families of the poor peasants he taught them the lesson of self reliance self reliance this is not a zero reliance but this reliance is r e l i a n c reliance means dependence 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 means self dependent one should be de dependent on oneself and this this particular lesson was taught by mahatma gandhi and it was not only the political or economic affair but it also had other impact or consequence also what were they 
there were the educational cultural health and hygiene also were looked at by mahatma gandhi by the leadership of mahatma gandhi and his family including his wife too therefore now my dear children will see some of the mcq question and after mcq question will conclude the lesson so here you go to the mcq questions so we will uh, see only two questions only two questions mcq questions here we continue what did uh, question number 2 what did gandhi what did what did gandhi go to lucknow for lucknow now is the capital of uttar pradesh is the capital of uttar pradesh so at that time what was the event for which he went let us see the option to attend the annual convention of the inc indian national congress to meet rajendra prasad rajendra prasad who later became the president of india to look into the share coppers problem to go to the champaran via lucknow so what will be the answer now see all the answers are related but you will have to know the specific answer his purpose of going to lucknow the direct purpose was to attend the session of the congress indian national congress session that was that was that was in lucknow therefore the correct answer will be then now let us proceed to the last one we will see the last one who accompanied gandhi to the capital of champaran who accompanied gandhi to the capital of champaran so whether it was rajendra prasad or sukla crowd of peasants several lawyers so who accompanied so you will see this answer by yourself you will find out the answer the key of the answer also is given you can see that also another last question uh, let us see why did gandhi start out on the back of an elephant let us see the option option a a peasant had been malnourished in a village nearby one he set out to meet the secretary of the british landlord association next he set out to meet the british official commissioner he was summoned by the sir edward gate the lieutenant governor what will be the answer my dear children so the answer will be that he heard the news of the ill treatment or mal treatment of a villager by the by the by the britishers therefore you know, he went there in order to attend that case therefore my dear children i suppose you understood it so now it is the time for discussing one or two questions i will go to the question now uh, so we'll uh, see one or two questions Uh, so we'll uh, see one question understanding the text only this uh, question will uh, discuss why do you think uh, gandhi considered the champaran acid a piece to be a turning point in his life turning point it is uh, very much crucial very much c r u c i a l it was a turning point it is a, it is a, it is a kind of turning point means it is a kind of milestone 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 means a very remarkable event in his life in his political career why this is so why does the champaran episode to be mentioned when we mentioned about the remarkable remarkable incident in the life of mahatma gandhi then let us see the answer the champaran episode began as an attempt to ease the suffering of the large number of the poor peasant he got spontaneous support of thousands of people gandhi admitted that what he had done was 
a very ordinary thing he declared that british sir could not order him about his own country hence he considered that the champaran is a turning point in his life so in this particular episode champaran episode the first thing that is noticeable is that the farmers or the pigeon got the carries after getting to the carries they came out spontaneously in support of mahatma gandhi and when mahatma gandhi got the support he after getting this a moral support so he become more valiant more courageous and he declared that in my own country in my own country nobody should order me about nobody should dictate terms and condition in my own country that means the people should be the ruler of his or their country and the people the people should be the ruler of their country means democracy is to be established in the country and in this uh, way the the turning point in the life of mahatma gandhi was the champaran episode that was in bihar with this uh, let us uh, and my dear children i suppose you understood the content the message the central idea the significance of the, the title and the content of this lesson very beautifully so we'll uh, meet you in the next video till then have a good day bye bye let us continue so the title here is indigo i n indigo so the meaning is in hindi this is a neel